Um, Dan, you served on the board of directors for community banks for 15 years. Did the inaccurate narrative that inflation was transitory, which clearly it wasn't, play a role in these collapses? Well, it could have played. I think there's many factors to begin with. But did it play a role? Well, it could have. And I'll tell you why, is that we, we got jammed up with inflation. We were too late to recognize it, too late to the party, rely on the Fed to raise interest rates in order to bring it down. What happened here is you're raising interest rates and the banks not properly uh, handling their investment risk was we're investing long term, right, in very low interest rate environments. Interest rates go up, they're stuck there, and then they have to meet deposits in a rising interest rate environment. So they totally blew it as far as the bank management. But yes, rising interest rates and inflation were absolutely a contributor here. Okay, let's talk about this, actually, Dan, because there's been a big spike in big banks gaining customers, ultimately because there's fear now in these regional or small banks. Do they have the liquidity that they need to, if I need to take my money out? And they're proving no. Um, and as Seth just points out, these banks are getting terrible ratings now. So what does that actually mean to the market when you have customers now moving to these big banks and ultimately hurting smaller regional banks, which a lot of people rely on for better loans? Well, this is what fear and panic can do in this type of environment. So you see people reacting in a way where I believe it's somewhat of an overreaction. Look, if you are properly um, staggering your money in banks so that you can have that FDIC coverage, that insurance, you're going to be just fine. And you have to look at where you're banking as well. So what's, what's happening here is, is that people are panicking and they're saying, I got to go to a big bank to ensure that I'm protected. But the big banks have the exact same insurance levels as the mid-sized banks. So the question really is, are the mid-sized banks being improperly managed? If they are, and it's across the board, and our regulators having caught it, then we have a mm. systemic problem.